I'm Ken Moore. I'm a mayor of the city of Franklin, Tennessee. I live in one of the greatest communities in America. I call it the dimple of the universe. You know, Franklin is a place that you've been there, you've walked the streets, you feel good, and you go away and you say, boy, this felt like such a great place. And you may not really know what it was, uh, you know, whether it's the history, whether it's the shops, whether it's all the people mingling around, or if you're a businessman, you see great entrepreneurial opportunities and great opportunities to grow a company. Uh, we like to say we're a community that balances preservation with growth. We are the economic generator for the state of Tennessee, but also at the same time are recognized for uh, many of our accomplishments with preservation. So the preservation community worked with the business folks uh, to redevelop the entire downtown Main Street area, which involved undergrounding utilities and new infrastructure, and uh, many of them uh, upgrading the facades on their businesses. And now it's a place that people love to walk and sit outside and have a cup of coffee and have lunch. And also we like for them to go in and spend a little money. So we see that as we develop gateways, whether it's Main Street or the uh, gateways into our city, that uh, redoing those areas with infrastructure and uh, sidewalks and plantings and beautification, that it leads to more economic development. So we as a community have to step up as far as some of our uh, ordinances and regulations uh, to create more opportunity uh, with planning to get more workforce and affordable housing. We're in an area where there's a lot of sprawl. I mean, that was the great American wish at one time is everybody lived on an acre or four or five acres outside of town. And so everybody had to have their car and we Southerners are in love with our cars. But we've gotten so in love with them that now we're in a situation where uh, we're uh, congested at going to work and congested coming home and we know from the studies we're doing uh, through the Metropolitan Planning Organization for our region that by 2035 if we don't truly address it we're going to be in gridlock and then that if gridlock does not spell economic success. If everybody gets in their car at lunch and goes to lunch I mean it's you never get to lunch and you never get back to work so we have to figure out some transit options such as the van pools maybe a bus rapid transit, maybe dedicated lanes, taking the HOV lane and turning that into a dedicated uh, lane for buses. You know, last year uh, we were just recognized as 10th in America for creating new jobs. This is coming out of, I mean, this is still part of the recession. And other people have studied our region and says that over the next 20 years we'll be third in America for creating jobs. That's going to be predicated on us being able to do those three things I keep mentioning. Certainty in workforce, certainty in housing, and certainty in transit. They all connect to economic success. You know, I'm chairman of the Mayor's Caucus for uh, Middle Tennessee. Uh, 40 mayors, 1.67 million people. And one thing that we've found already that's been very successful is to get together as a group and talk about issues that we see are going to affect our region going forward. When we come together, it's not uh, Republicans, Democrats, Tea Partiers, or whatever. It's a group, a group of community leaders that have issues that we need to talk about and issues that we need to solve. And we solve them by having the right facts and the right information and not based on political background or dogma.